Well, honestly, it was just seeing how low down the narcotics were in Memphis, Tennessee around that time. We talking about like maybe like 89, 88 when the crack epidemic really hit Memphis. And they had this narcotic division that was just extra super low down. And I watched them ride up on brothers that were out trying to hustle and slam them to the ground. Just do all kind of low down stuff. So, you know, that angered me, man. And, and whenever I got the chance to to, to start recording, you know, I, I knew I always wanted to write a song that retaliated against them for their brutality. So it's like shooting on Knox just was a, a song that was written to express how those guys must have felt when they was going through that, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get them something to say. And it ended up just taking off in the streets. It, it was like they finally had somebody who understood how they felt so they could use that to kind of send their message, man. And it was a it was a trip because the, actually the narcotics heard the record and they threatened that if they ever caught me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's like it was going to be crucial. But they yeah. never caught up with me, thank God. But that's what inspired the record, seeing it actually happen to people. Now, now, uh, did you? You said they never caught up with you, but did you get any kind of threats or backlash from all that? Oh, I got several threats, man. Actually, the song even made the local news because you know a lot of police felt threatened by that. It's like, okay, this guy's telling people to shoot us and stuff like that. So, <laughs> you know, it got a little publicity locally, man. And, you know, I received threats, but nothing ever happened, though. You know, I, I, I continued to perform the record live, and you know, didn't go down.